My name is Stephanie Jefferson. Well, it is this action adventure series that takes place in ancient Nubia. The main character, Princess Kandake, is the youngest child of the king of Nubia, and she wants to be a warrior more than anything. And in Nubia, a woman can be anything she wants. But her grandmother says that she's going to be the next ruler of the kingdom. Kandake figures, if I have to be queen, then warrior queen it is. So her brother gets kidnapped, and the kingdom is at war, and there's no one to go rescue him. She decides to go, and it is there that she discovers that it takes the power and the diplomacy of a queen paired with her warrior skill to win his release. It was actually my granddaughter. When she was three years old, Naomi said to me, Nana, I want to be a princess. And I said, sure, go ahead, be a princess. So she brings me a Disney ad and says, where are all the beautiful brown princesses? So that meant Nana needed to do some research. So I thought the best place to find a brown princess would be on the continent of Africa. So I'm looking through all the different princess stories and I'm finding things that I'm not pleased with. Princesses that are waiting for someone to rescue them. They're only princess because they married somebody else. But when I got to the kingdom of Nubia, I found that it had the largest number of reigning queens just because they were strong women. That is the kind of princess I wanted my grandmother, or rather granddaughter, to be. So I started researching everything I could find on Nubia. And what I found out is not only do they have the largest number of reigning queens, they also have historically some very great, strong queens. And that is the kind of princess that I wanted my granddaughter to pattern herself after. And then I thought, if she needs that kind of history and foundation, so does everybody else's granddaughter. So then I started writing the first book, Princess Kandake, Warrior by Choice, Appointed to Rule. That led to the next book, Weight of the Crown, and the next one, Warrior of the Egyptian Kingdom, and the last one this year is um, A Journey Undertaken. The series right now has four books, and it will have five before I take a break and work on a boy-directed series, something different entirely. What I have found is that they're excited because the books have underlying themes. The first theme of the first book says that life requires many things of you and sometimes it's not what you want. So then my message to them is do what you have to do but find a way to weave in what you love to do and that way you'll be strong at whatever it is. The second book, Weight of the Crown, talks about romantic attraction. Princess Kandake, her father becomes ill, so she must rule the kingdom while he's ill. The Prince of Aksum, who is the crown prince, decides that if he can marry her, then he gets two kingdoms in one. So the message of the book is just because he likes you, doesn't mean he means the best for you. You must determine what is best for yourself and do that thing. There is a future, the fifth book, which will come out in February, is called The Decisions of a Queen, 
where Kandake is required to make some life decisions on whether she will continue to go to different kingdoms or whether she will stay home, what she's going to do there. Then I will take a small break and then come back with her daughter as the main character. So the series will be ongoing. Absolutely, you can find me on my website at stephaniejefferson.com or you can find me on Facebook in two places. I have a personal page, which is just Stephanie Jefferson, and I have the business page, an author page, it's entitled Stephanie Jefferson Author. So you'll find me very easily in those two places, but I'm also on Tumblr and, and a few other places that I haven't really kept up. But if you want to know the most recent information about me or get in contact with me, either message me through Facebook or go to my website and email me there. Thank you. And as a matter of fact, being on the show, Ice Cube, he was starting to shoot a film back then in the 90s, 95, called Friday. I'm sure everybody knows Friday. And... Um, so I, he saw me, he said, I want that black lady on The Price is Right. Didn't nobody really know my name then. I was known as the black lady on The Price is Right. But that was okay. And he said, I want her to come in and audition for the part of Mrs. Parker in the movie. So my agent called, went in, auditioned for the part of Mrs. Parker, and the rest is history. Hi, Miss Parker. Hi, boys. There's romance, there's action, there's adventure, there's mystery, there's, um, um, of course, drama. I mean, it really is a very complex world. It's got a map in it. It's like Game of Thrones, as complex as that, or uh, Lord of the Rings. We wanted to make our world very rich. There's different people from all different places on Earth with different dialects, but then they're also mixing it up there. So they created new types of, of, of groups and peoples. Of course, I want the book in as many hands as I can get it. But primarily, I want to start a movement. I want to start a movement where men are putting the putting the the the, the onus on other men to step up and always exhibit these qualities and behaviors. So our younger men are modeling. I go around the country. I actually go around the world doing a series of workshops on fathers or on being men. And so. I spend a lot of my time really doing presentations and workshops to share, and it's not to teach, because again, I'm, I'm modeling, and so it's not to tell people how they should be, but to allow them space to discuss the things in their life, the things they've admired in men, and how they can adopt some of those qualities themselves.